guys, I'm back with another haul video. I know that's pretty much all I've been doing lately, but I just cannot pass up the Dollar Tree. I cannot pass up a good deal when I see one. So I found a pretty good amount of exciting things from a couple random places. I'm just going to put it all together because it's not a ton of things from each store. I mean, I think the most is from Dollar Tree, but I usually fly through that pretty fast. So hopefully you guys are okay with me just putting everything together. I know I say that in every video and I haven't gotten any complaints yet. So I'm going to assume that you guys are okay with it. So um, I have some things from, like I said, Dollar Tree, a couple things from Dollar General, some things from the Target Dollar Spot, and just a few um, random goodies from TJ Maxx that I picked up the other day that I want to share with you guys in case you're interested. So if you'd like to see what I picked up this time around, then just keep watching. Also, I quickly want to mention that I am filming on my new phone now. I got the iPhone 8 Plus, so if things are kind of backwards, I'm not sure how it's going to show up once I upload it. Hopefully it's a little more clear and um, the lighting's okay. I think this is going to be a lot better quality than my webcam was, so testing this out just to see how this goes. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the dollar spot stuff first from Target. Okay, the first things I picked up, I was really excited when I saw people um, showing these on Instagram and I love the color because it matches my kitchen perfectly. Like you guys know, I got the teal blue and the pink and all that stuff. So I picked up two of these little um, hook rack thingies. Um, but yeah, they got like the two, the three little jewels, kind of match my nails, <laughs> um, the three little jewel hooks on there and I was going to hopefully um, hang some mugs from these. I don't know if it'll be sturdy enough. I'm going to give it a try. I went ahead and glued these um, type of little brackets on with E6000 just so it would be a little more sturdy because all they have really um, to hold these up is just these little holes and I didn't think that would be sturdy enough especially if I wanted to put mugs on these. So I went ahead and glued those on both of them. I got two of them like I said so I'm hoping to be able to hang some of my really cute mugs on here so I can display my little mug collection in my kitchen. Okay, next couple things. I picked up three of these $1 um, squirt bottles. I thought these were really cute and a really good deal for a dollar because these are like nice little bottles. I picked up two of the little rose patterned ones. I thought these were really cute. I'm just going to use these for like cleaners and things. And then I picked up this one with the teal blue. I'm going to use this one in my kitchen, of course. So probably use each of one of these in the bathrooms. But I just thought these were really cute and could not believe that these were only a dollar because you did not find this cute of a squirt bottle at Dollar Tree. So I'm really excited about these and I'm glad I picked those up. They had a bunch of other patterns, so if you guys are interested, definitely check those out in your dollar spot. Okay, next thing I picked up, I found this really cool notebook. I don't need any more notebooks, you guys know this, but I just cannot pass them up when I see them. Um, I guess I'm a notebook collector now, so I grabbed this one. How beautiful is that? It's like holographic almost kind of holographic I know holographic is more of a rainbow but it's just it's really cool it's not really the light is kind of washing it out a little bit but it's so beautiful and this was three dollars the only thing I don't really like about this is the pages are blank I wish there was lines but I could not pass it up just because of this cover alone I can make my own lines if I really want to so I thought this was adorable and I had to get that Okay, a few more stationary items I picked up from the dollar spot. I grabbed this little notepad. This is a to-do list, and I thought this was really cute. Um, I wanted to put this on my fridge, but I noticed there's no magnet, so I'll have to add a few magnets to the back of that to be able to hang it on my fridge, but this was only a dollar, and I like that it's got the, like, the little check boxes, and then down here it says urgent, and then someday. Hopefully you guys, I know my light's kind of washing that out. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, you can put the date on there and it's got 60 sheets and I really like the color. It's like a mint kind of between mint and teal blue and then kind of like a gold like splatter along the side there. So I thought that was really cute for a dollar. Grab that. And then the next thing I picked up <clears throat> was this little pack of two ball pens. They are black ink and these were only a dollar as well and I just thought they were really cute. I loved um, the pink and the gold and the little leopard print. I just thought those were adorable. I don't need any more pens either, but I can't pass them up when they're this cute and they're only a dollar, so I grabbed those. Okay, and the last thing I picked up from the dollar spot, I saw someone haul this on Instagram, and I can't remember what her name was, but I thought this was so cute. It's for a child. It's like a child's purse, but it's a mermaid tail, and look how cute this is, you guys. Look at how durable that is. So I think I'm going to try to shorten the strap somehow maybe. Cut it and then like glue it so it's a little shorter. And I want to hang it somewhere in here and just like store cute stuff in it. I think that would be really cute. So I could not pass that up. And they had this in different colors but I love the pink and the white and the little like the iridescence um, of this. And this was $3 so this was so cute. I could not, I could not pass this up guys. 
really couldn't. I don't care if I'm 30 and buying a little child's purse, you know. If you you like what you like, it shouldn't matter how old you are or, you know, what you think other people are going to think. You just do you, boo. I had to get that. Look at how pretty. <laughs> Okay, that was it from the Target dollar spot. Now I just have a few random things from TJ Maxx I wanna show you real quick. I was really interested in getting some new bowls for our kitchen because all of our like plastic bowls are old or like they're just ones that we've kept from like lunch meat containers or like Chinese food containers and I just want some new nice bowls. So I found this six pack at TJ Maxx. This was $12.99 and I love the color of teal and I love like how um, they clasp shut. I think that's really cool. They seal nice and good. So it comes with this really big one here on the bottom. It's got two little ones inside and then it's got um, two more like smaller ones and then this nice size one right here. I thought this was a great deal. And like I said, this was $12.99. They also had um, another pack of the same color, but like kind of bigger bowls in that one for $19.99. But I didn't really need the, that large of storage bowls. So I went with the like the little smaller pack. I thought this was a great deal, like I said, and I love the color, you guys know. Match my kitchen perfectly. I just, I like everything to be matchy-matchy now that we're redoing it and, you know, making everything look nice. So I got those. And then this was the only single pink bowl that I found, but I grabbed it anyway. It's that same brand. This Sistema, I think is the brand. Um, but I love that baby pink color, and this one was $2.99. Um, I was a little upset because last time I was there, they had a bunch of these, like, bowls, single bowls in this pink color. But, like I said, when I went yesterday, they only had one, so I grabbed it. And I will be on the lookout for more of these because I love this color. It's the perfect shade of pink, so I had to grab this. Okay, and a, um, a few months ago, I hauled a bunch of these rose gold, um, like bake pans and things um today I found or yesterday I found a cake pan a, yeah square cake pan so I had to pick that up it's really nice we, we have been loving the cookie sheet and the pizza pan that we've gotten we haven't used the muffin tin yet but I definitely need to make some cupcakes or something soon but this was $5.99 and I just love the rose gold, rose gold color like I said and um David Burke is the maker of this I guess the designer of this kind of Pan, like that little airflow. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Where's the little hole that I was just looking at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's got like little diamonds in there, so it helps air get underneath of the food so it doesn't stick to the pan. I still um, like to use Pam just in case. Um, and these are oven safe to 450 and they're dishwasher safe, which is awesome because we're going to be getting a dishwasher and my boyfriend has been saying make sure everything's dishwasher safe. So that's going to be awesome when we finally get that. So yeah, I had to grab one of these. And then the last thing I picked up, I just went ahead and grabbed another bottle of the coconut oil mo moisturizing micro mist because I have been loving this and I definitely want to make sure I have a backup when I need it. So just grabbed another one of these and this was $6.99 and I've been loving this Ren Pure brand, you guys. It has been awesome to my hair and I'm so glad that I decided to try it out and this is also safe for color treated hair I don't think I mentioned that before when I hauled this but my hair is definitely color treated I hate that it's not showing up the color that it is on camera it looks really dark but it's it's red it's like a not really a bright red it's like a dark red but it's it looks dark brown in the camera but that's okay but I had to pick up a backup of this when I saw it and that is everything from TJ Maxx I also had another box of like the Barbie note cards in my card and this really cute notebook but I put those back because so I was like I don't need any more stationery right now but I'm pretty sure if I go back and they're there I'm probably gonna get them because that's just how it goes <laughs> okay just a few random things from Dollar General and then we'll get on to the Dollar Tree stuff I picked up some more bowls I really liked these because they are the kind that are separated and they are the color that matches my kitchen I hauled a smaller pack of bowls um a few weeks ago I think or maybe a month ago that was the Rubbermaid brand and in the same color so I was really excited to find more bowls and these were only a $2.50 each at Dollar General they come three in a pack so um right now we have the red ones that are from Dollar Tree and I was really glad to find um ones that match our kitchen in this same style so we can get rid of those ugly red ones red is just I mean red is a nice color don't get me wrong it's just not for me, I guess, in my kitchen, I want everything to be teal, blue, or pink, and yeah, so I was really excited to find these. I believe these are dishwasher safe, let me see. Hopefully, I didn't even think to check. 
yes, top rack dishwasher safe and microwave safe and freezer safe. So that's awesome. And they're also BPA free. So that's great news. And then I just picked up one of these mint julep masks by Queen Helene. These used to be like so popular on YouTube a few years ago. And I still have a bottle that I got a few years ago, but I'm definitely going to be getting rid of that one since I got a new one. Um, I don't know if that one's probably even still good to use. So I'm definitely going to get rid of it. But this is a really good mask for... Um, oily and acne prone skin and this was on clearance so this was originally three dollars it was 40 percent off so it was I got it for a dollar eighty so I could not pass that up and I'm really excited to try this out again because it's been a while like I said and ignore that bright green bra strap that doesn't match anything else <laughs> but yeah I'm really excited to get this and I really like the new packaging on it as well so yeah I definitely had to pick that up for a dollar eighty I have two big bags from Dollar Tree that I'll get into first bag I finally found the jars that I needed for that DIY um, three tier system I wanted to do in my kitchen that Abley 25 did. I already had one of these, I just needed two more. So I finally found two more. They're just the little like, kind of like candy jars. They're really cute. Like you could set it like this or like this. And they're really nice jars for a dollar. So I grabbed the two that I needed. Okay, next I grabbed a Beauty Benefits um, bronzer. I already took it out of the package. I'm sure you guys know what the packaging looks like, but it looks like this. And um, what was the color of this? I think it was hazelnut. It doesn't say on the packaging, which kind of annoys me, but I got this because it doesn't really look like a bronzer to me. It looks more like a nice, like, natural blush color. So that's why I got that. And actually, I'll do a swatch real quick in case you guys are interested. I just thought this was really pretty, and I've been eyeing this up and finally decided to just pick it up, even though I don't need any more blush. But you can't beat it for a dollar. Like I said, I just can't pass up a good deal. So there, there that is. It's just a nice, natural, like, nudie blush color. I think it's really pretty. And it, it's really pigmented and really soft and blends out really well. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I finally found some of the new Bolero products. I was only really interested in the facial wipes because I know I really like those. And I only picked up two of the scents. The first one I picked up was this Moroccan mint and raspberry this one smells really good i wasn't sure how i would feel about this but i took a whiff of i think one of the soaps that was there and it smelled it smells really good so i should have picked up a couple packs of these but it's okay i already have like three or four backups of the french vanilla or the vanilla cream ones that i love so i think i'm good on wipes for a while but then i also had to pick up the french lavender and citrus because i feel like this is going to be relaxing is what it says so I feel like this is going to be nice to wipe on your face like right before you're going to bed just kind of relax you and calm you and so I'm probably going to keep this in my little um little basket next to my bed and I don't think I mentioned these ones are for are for hydrating so I'm really excited about these um and I was kind of interested in the pear scent too but I didn't see that one at my Dollar Tree so I'll be keeping a lookout for that you guys like my cute little penguin sweater I think I got this at Walmart he's so cute with this little rose gold ear muffs okay I came across these party cups and I thought they were really cute I like the gold stars on them I thought I could use these for snacks like if we don't so we don't eat like a whole bag of chips you know we could just put some chips in the cup eat them and then be done you know kind of like portion control but I just thought these were really cute and for a dollar I was like why not I'll grab them my mom even talked me into getting them she's like they're a dollar you think they're cute just get them they're a dollar so Thank you, Mama. I picked them up, and yeah, it comes with eight in a pack, and they had different colors as well. I think they had black and white, like a black with white stars, but I really love the gold, so I picked those up. Okay, next I came across some more of the, like, um, single-serve coffee cups for the Keurig, and I haven't seen this um, flavor in any of my stores. I was actually in my old town visiting my mom, and we went to a couple Dollar Trees, so... I found these there. They are the Colombian flavor. So I picked up two of these. They are mild, no, medium roast. So they're going to be a little darker probably than the vanilla flavor that I've picked up before. But I'm really excited to try these. So like I said, I picked up two boxes of those. Next, I was so excited to finally find these candles. I have been on the hunt because you guys know I love anything birthday cake scented, birthday cake flavored. They came out with birthday cake scented cupcake candles at Dollar Tree and these smell amazing you guys I don't know if they're gonna smell as good while they're burning but it smells just like a birthday cake it smells so sweet and so good so I had to pick up two of these for myself and I also picked up one for my girl Alicia because she was on the hunt for these as well I got you girl 
So if you want more, let me know and I can go back and grab another one for you because I did see them at one of my Dollar Trees yesterday. So let me know if you want more than one as well. But I had to pick up two of these because like I said, my favorite scent ever and they smell so good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna burn these just because they do smell so good and they're so cute, but that's why I picked up two in case I wanted to burn one and then just keep one for decor. So I had to grab those. They also had salted caramel ones that also smelled really good but I, I just, I had to get the birthday cake ones. Next, I've been on the hunt for more of the pink Hershey Kisses. So I found, finally found them. I picked up four bags. I just think these are cute to put in, like even if you wanted to just put them in one of these little candy jars and then just have it sitting out on display. I think that's really cute. So that's why I got these also because, you know, they're delicious. Hello, Hershey's chocolate is like the best chocolate in my opinion. I love Hershey's. Um, but yeah, I just had to pick up four more of these cute little pink Hershey kisses. So I was glad to find those out of all the Dollar Trees I've been to. Three here, two in my old town, and only one of them had the pink ones still. So I had to grab those when I saw them. Okay, next I came across these shower curtain rings, and I've never seen them in this color before at Dollar Tree. How cute is that? Perfect shade of like baby pink. I'm gonna be using these in my upstairs bathroom because I'm redoing that. Like I said, my boyfriend's gonna kill me. I have pink in every room now. And he even said, he's like, oh, we're gonna have pink in the bedroom now too. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He loves me though, I hope. So don't kill me, baby. I had to get these. Um, there's 12 of them and yeah, they're really cute. I like these a lot and yeah, I was really excited to find this color because I've not seen this color before. And I feel like I don't find this shade of pink a lot at the Dollar Tree like I've mentioned before. So when I see it, I grab it because it's perfect. <laughs> okay, next, um, I already opened this one as well. I went ahead and grabbed another one of the sleep masks. This one says, beauty queen but yeah this one just feels like a different quality than the last one I picked up it's like the same exact thing except it says sweet dreams but it looks just the same as black with the pink threading um this one just feels like a lot cheaper to me I don't know but I'm sure it'll do the job for a dollar but I've really been liking using these at night so I just went ahead and grabbed another one thought it was really cute Okay, hey, next I came across these really adorable keychains by the registers I picked up this little pale pink one and I love that it's got the gold hardware. How adorable is that, you guys? So cute. So I had to pick up the pink one, and then I also had to pick up the gold one, because you guys know, pink and gold. So I don't know if I'm going to use these together. I think that would be cute. Or if I'm even going to use them on a bag, or I might just hang them somewhere to display them, because they're just so cute. You can do anything you want with these. But they also had silver, and then they also had ones that look like little flowers. So I just like the heart ones, so I grabbed those. Okay, a few packs of stickers that I came across. Um, I found these Heidi Swap ones, and I just love the color of these. And there are 16 pieces, so they just look like this. Um, it says, hello, it's got a little phone, call me maybe, busy signal, looking good, what the what, a little thumbs up, and then a little message bubble. I just thought those are really cute. And then on the back, they kind of show you like what you can how you can display them or whatever but um i think heidi swap is like a craft store brand like from michael's or ac moore or jo joanne's you know one of those stores so to find this brand at dollar tree that's a really awesome deal so i had to grab one of those and then this one is from dear lizzie which i think is also a craft store brand um but they are just these alpha stickers and they're almost like not really a rose gold but they're kind of like a bronzy copper i thought they were really pretty so you got the the background with the white letter on this one and then on the back is the white background with like the colored um, bronzy letter. So I thought this was a really good I, really good deal as well. It comes with the letters and numbers and then also just some random words that you can use as well. So I had to grab those. And then I also found this pack of stickers and my girl Alicia had showed these to me. So I picked us both up a pack. They're just these really cute coffee themed stickers. And I thought those were so pretty. I love the colors. I love how they're all coffee related. So like I said, I got us each a pack. Okay, and the last couple things in this bag, I picked up two of these book bins. Now look at the color, matches my nails. You guys know I love this color. I'm going to use these for um, I think storing my cleaning supplies like under my kitchen sink. And what I like about these is they actually hook together. So, and that I noticed that, where'd they go? Like these spray bottles fit in there perfectly. So I think this, these will work really great for cleaning supplies under my sinks. 
So they had four of these left. I only grabbed two. I would kind of wish I would have grabbed all four, but I think two will do the job. And like I said, I love the color and these are a great deal for a dollar. These are nice and sturdy. I feel like these are a lot better quality than like the magazine holders and the book holders that they usually have. So, and they also have these in different colors. I saw like a darker blue and a black. I'm not sure if they have any more colors in that, but I definitely had to pick up the more Tiffany like teal blue one. Okay, this last bag, just a bunch of random stuff in here. I thought I was on the hunt for these cookies. They are chocolate chip cookies, but they are chewy ones. They also have original chocolate chip cookies, and then they also have ones that have like big chocolate chunks in them. But I really like the chewy ones, so I grabbed two packs of those when I finally found them. So I'm really excited to give those a try. Next I came across this LED night light and I thought this was really cute. I like the star that's on it so let's grab one of those. I'll probably use it in one of my bathrooms or in our hallway or bedroom or somewhere. I know I can find somewhere to put this so I just grabbed one. I almost grabbed a couple of these but I wanted to see how well this worked before I went and bought a bunch of them so just grabbed the one. I thought that was really cute. And then I finally found the last little notebook that I wanted from that Crown Jewels collection. The pink and copper polka dot one. So cute so i was glad to finally find this so my co collection is complete um with that collection i know they've come out with a few other ones that i have yet to see at dollar tree so i'm on the hunt for those as well now okay next i came across these new little votive candles i thought these were really pretty i got two of this gold one and then i got two of like the coppery colored one i thought these were really cute for decor um, so I'm really excited to find those. I think the rest is just like random little gifty things. My nephew is turning six at the end of this month, so I just grabbed him a few little toys that I know he'll love so that I can send to, to him. Um, I came across this little block tech, kind of like little Lego people. And my mom actually found one of these for him when they were at Dollar Tree together and he loved these and they, it was the only one they could find. It was just sitting in a random place. So I sent her a picture and I was like, is this, you know, what he found and what he liked? She's like, yes, yes, get that. So it was weird because this was the only one that I could find at my Dollar Tree too and it was just randomly sitting on a shelf. So I grabbed that for him and he's all excited about it already. So I got that and then I also sent her a picture of these which he saw and was like, you know, he wanted these too. So I went ahead and grabbed him four different ones. They had, I think, six or seven different ones. But they are the My Blocks um, little construction blocks. And they're all little cars. Like this one is a race car. And I got him the Super Tank. I got him the little Police ATV. And then I also got him the little City Patrol car. So I think he'll really love those to add. I'm going to add those, like I said, to his little um, birthday goodie bag. And then I also just picked him up a little birthday card. I thought this one was really cute. It says, loads of wish wishes for the birthday boy. It's got a little piece of cake in the back of this truck with the little dog driving. I just thought that was really cute. So let's grab that while I saw it. Okay, and the last two things I picked up for my dad. I don't know if he'll like these, but he is a master Volkswagen technician and he's been working on Volkswagens for as long as I can remember. But anyway, I found these Matchbox cars and I had to get them for him. His birthday's coming up as well in April or I may save these for Father's Day or even for Christmas to put in his like little goodie bag that I do every year. But I had to pick these up because they're they're just really cool. Um, this one is the Volkswagen Transporter Cab. So it kind of looks like a Volkswagen bus, but like a pickup version of it. I thought that was really cool. And then I also picked up the Volkswagen D GTI. So I just thought those are really neat. And Matchbox cars are just as good as Hot Wheels. These have actually been out longer than Hot Wheels in case you all are wondering. So I had to pick those up when I saw them. Okay, so that was it for my haul. I'm going to be doing my little room tour next because I filmed that before and I couldn't get it uploaded to my computer. So hopefully it'll work this time. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my new videos. And Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Um, I, I, bleh, bleh. I wish this bra strap would stay out of my life. Percy, whoop. I hope that's not backwards. Why is it backwards? I don't like that it's backwards. I found this from my girl Alicia. She, she bleh, 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 bleh.